Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the workflow of getting your actor core motions into your Unreal Engine project. Keep in mind that this tutorial assumes that you already have the Auto Setup plugin installed for Unreal that is available for free on our website. There's a link for the tutorial in the description below. We're going to go through a couple of workflows in this tutorial. The first will be to import our actor core avatar, which will be automatically set up if you have the Auto Setup plugin installed, which you can grab from our website. We'll then import some motions, which will be retargeted as an Atom asset, which can be used right away on your avatar. I'll also go through importing in a custom rig character, which you'll need to manually map to the UE4 mannequin skeleton, which takes a bit more time, and we'll end off by retargeting the Atom asset to that rig as well. The first thing we'll want to do is take a look at the skeleton of the UE4 mannequin and create a retargeting source for it. Once you've opened up the skeleton, we want to click on Options and then go into Show Retargeting Options. Here we need to make sure that both the root and pelvis are set to animation, but the rest are set to skeleton. This ensures that your character rig is consistent with the standard UE4 mannequin, which makes things a lot easier when using the auto setup plugin to import in motions from actor core. To set up our retargeting source, let's go into the retarget manager at the top and then select the standard humanoid rig as our rig. You'll be able to see that all the bone naming is consistent, so we're good to go ahead and save. Next, let's take a look at importing our motion dummy character in FBX format. The first thing we'll want to do is click and drag the FBX avatar file that we downloaded from ActorCorp into our CC folder. It's important to import to this folder, otherwise auto setup won't work properly. Since we're just importing in a dummy character and don't need to worry too much about shaders, I'm just going to select standard shader. A couple of important settings here. You'll want to make sure that you have use time zero as reference pose enabled. Under Materials, since we're focused on the animation, I'll select Do Not Create Materials and deselect Import Textures, which will speed up our import process dramatically. From there, we'll just select Import. This will import in our dummy character base, and you'll see all of the files for our character now appear in the CC folder that we imported to. Let's load up our character skeleton now and take a look. Since we used Auto Setup, the rig should be set to Humanoid, and all the bone names should be consistent. And if we check our skeleton tree, pelvis and hips should automatically be set to animation scaled, as well as foot and hand IK. When importing motions in separately, they will need to be retargeted to the humanoid rig. So first things first, let's click and drag a motion FBX file into our CC folder. When we're asked about the shader here, let's just select Cancel, since we don't actually need one as we're importing in a motion. What's important to ensure here is that the animation length is set to animated time, and that Use Default Sample Rate is also selected, then simply select Import. We can double click on the Animation Sequence file to get a preview of what our motion looks like. Next, we want to retarget that motion to our humanoid rig that we created earlier. To do that, simply right click on the Animation Sequence and go to Retarget Animation, and then duplicate Anim Asset and Retarget. Here, we're going to retarget to the UE4 mannequin, so let's just select that and then select Retarget. What that will do is create a new animation sequence in the main folder that can be applied to any character that shares that humanoid rig that the UE4 mannequin has. If we click on it, we'll just see the UE4 mannequin doing the same dance. We can click and drag it into our scene to see the same result. Next, we're going to import in a second motion and combine it with the first one to create a composite of the two. Using the same process, we're going to import in the second dance motion to our CC folder and ensure that we have the same settings that we used for the first. We can double click on that animation sequence to get a quick preview of that. So to create a composite, all you need to do is right click on your folder, go to animation, and then select animation composite. We're going to use our motion dummy skeleton for this example. Essentially, the basic thing you have to do here is click and drag your animation from the Asset Browser and into the Composite track. Once you drag a second one in at a certain point, it will override the first one, and they'll combine together. Once you're satisfied with the composite, you can go ahead and save it. However, we still want to retarget it for the humanoid rig, so we're going to go through the same process by right-clicking the composite and then going to retarget anim asset and then again duplicate and retarget. 
What you'll find now is that the new animation composite has been created, and it's also created separate animation sequences for the other two partial animations using our composite as well. We can double click the new composite file to see the results and drag it into our scene where it will be reenacted by our UE4 mannequin. The next part demonstrates one of the more monotonous pipelines into Unreal, which is importing in a custom rig which doesn't conform to the CC3 base plus specifications. In this case, we're using Blue Dude, which is an unconventional rig from the previous versions of iClone. Since it won't use auto setup, we can simply click and drag into our main content folder. We still need to use Time0 as reference pose, and in this case, since we're bringing in a new mesh, we want to create new materials and import the textures. The first thing we want to do here is open up our skeleton file and open up the retarget manager, then set our rig to humanoid. We can use the auto map feature here in order to get most of the bones correctly retargeted, however you'll be able to see that there is a lot that don't match up. Your character may be different, but for this particular character our spine 2 bone needs to be set to spine 01, and spine 3 will be set to neck twist 01. A little further down, neck 01 needs to be set to neck. That's it for the basic bones, however there's a lot that still needs to be set for the fingers and twist bones. Again, this may vary for your particular character, but as I don't want to go bone by bone for this particular example, I'll speed up the video a bit and you can feel free to pause at any particular time to check on the bone retargeting specs for Blue Man here. Once you're done setting all the bones, the next step is to again go up and show retargeting options and make sure that all the bones are set to skeleton aside from the root, hip, and pelvis bones, which need to be set to animation. In addition, you need to go down to ensure that all of the IK bones are also set to animation. You can select them all and choose recursively set translation retargeting animation to do it all at once. From there, just go ahead and make sure you save. Finally, we're going to retarget our composite animation to the new Blue Man skeleton rig that we just imported. Now that we've retargeted everything, this is a pretty simple task. We simply need to repeat the process where we right click on the animation composite that we want to retarget and then duplicate and retarget. This time we're going to select the Blue Man skeleton and you'll see that it creates the same animation sequence files we saw before, only this time with a Blue Man on the icon. We can double click any of those to preview and you can see the result is retargeted successfully. That's about all there is to it guys, thanks so much for watching this tutorial and don't forget to check out our other ActorCore tutorials with pipelines for Maya, Blender, Unity and more. I'll see you in the next video.